record. Hi, I'm Daryl Cagle. Today we're going to be drawing Donald Trump tripping over the state of Wisconsin, anticipating that he's going to uh, not do well in the um, primary in Wisconsin tomorrow. Um, so this is one of those uh, good for a day cartoons. Um, and given that it's going to be two weeks uh, till the next primary after uh, Wisconsin tomorrow, uh, this might have legs for a few days as people are talking about Wisconsin for a little bit. So uh, let's get started. Oh. Sound sync claps and uh, we're ready to go. So thank you folks for joining me today. And um, I'm going to be, give me just a second here. Okay, I'm going to be drawing something that is similar to another couple of cartoons that I have done in the past. And uh, this is one such cartoon, uh, the Wall Street Bull tripping over Italy. At this time, there was a bunch of news about... Uh, Italy needing an EU bailout and it was just going down the financial tubes and that was all that people could talk about for a few days. So Wall Street trips over Italy. Anyway, I'm going to make Donald Trump similarly tripping over Wisconsin. So pretty simple little cartoon unless I choose to spend all day doing pinstripes. Um, so let's uh, let's see what we got. I encourage you folks to uh, comment and talk to me. So okay, so I think I'm going to go with pretty much the same position because I was happy with this tripping position. So leg down this way. Like to get a little sense of butt wherever I can fit in a butt. It's kind of I think that's kind of one of the the responsibilities of an editorial cartoonist is that. Uh, if you can draw some, draw butt crack, it's kind of your responsibility to, to draw butt crack. It's, uh, it's what we call, we're all called to do as cartoonists. So, um, hey. If you haven't been here before, please follow. And if you have, please comment. You can even comment if you haven't followed. Spine is going to need to go like that, kind of twist up. And this foot could go more like, show a little more foot. That one is going to need to have a good deal of top of the page which is not good because I like to make uh, the images one and a half wide by one tall so if I have some piece sticking out at the top that makes the whole thing taller it kills my width so we'll think about that for a minute This 
people that I'm looking at as I do this. As, uh, as much the same um, body type as Donald Trump. a sec here with my settings. Alright, I guess that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. a little bit I think maybe maybe not hmm. all right well, we'll go with this for a while Hey, if you folks want me to talk, give me some comments. There's nine of you here. Somebody should have something to say. All right. Body goes up that way. Head is there. Hello, Funky Monkey. Nice to see you here. I've got a couple more cartoons that have been waiting in the queue f to get done after this one. This one has a deadline of this afternoon since it has to go out for the Wisconsin results tomorrow. I'm just doing fine, Funky Monkey. This arm goes down a little bit more like that. He's 
bracing against a fall. Hello, Okomi. Nice to see you here. Big. Got my flint water today. All right, I'm going to need to bring up a screen of the Donald. I still don't have a good Donald in my head. This is going to be Donald Trump, as uh, as usual, actually. So let's look at the Donald Trump images again. I'm actually pretty used to seeing them. So this is what I'm looking at on my screen here. This is Donald Trump tripping over Wisconsin, anticipating that he will not be doing well tomorrow. I think his uh, arm here not looking quite right. like this. He should be losing the bottom part of his chin. So. needs a little fix. So I use up my darn erasers on every friggin' pencil. I 
This one's kind of a quickie. Although I do have those two more that I'm gonna gonna do that are also quickies. So I should be here for a while. Everything from Trump is always at the same friggin' angle. Is that better? You want some more of me? There you go. Mm. with the nose. I think the nose is too wide. Comey writes, did Donald stumble in Wisconsin? Haven't been following the vote. Oh, Comey, the vote is tomorrow, but Donald is behind in the polls, and I am guessing ahead that the story is going to be uh, what happens after Donald stumble in Wisconsin. So it could well be that Donald does well in Wisconsin tomorrow, in which case this cartoon will not see much ink. But as it stands, he stands to do poorly. It looks like Ted Cruz is going to win Wisconsin tomorrow night. Sometimes you draw cartoons anticipating that something might happen, and uh, that is typical on uh, election nights with close elections. Sometimes you draw two cartoons, one for uh, one guy wins, one if the other guy wins. So we'll, we'll see if Donald stumbles tomorrow. Yeah, Cruz did well in Texas. That was his home state. So I don't give him as much credit for that. I think this arm is wrong. Maybe both arms are wrong. I've got them too fat. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to change both arms. So his spine comes down like that, turns up into his skull. He's got his shoulders here. Well, my high head covers up your chat, doesn't it? Oops. All right, there, I'm low. Okay. I'm going to give him short, stubbier arms. get the 
face look a little more right. You know, when you do something big and simple like this, it can often be more of a hassle to draw because uh, all the little bits of it have to be correct. Since you have so few little bits, it becomes more demanding to get all the little bits right. if I'm happy with that. I guess that's all right. Fix it in the final line art. Well, his nose needs to be a little straighter. does actually come out at that angle, but it's got a perception of being straighter. Let's see what we can do with this. I'm not sure I'm liking it. Wisconsin is a Kasich state? No, Kasich is a third also, also ran. It looks like Cruz is going to win Wisconsin. Yeah, he needs a little more work. This other hand is not working. Both these hands are not working. Boom, boom, boom. Is that looking right? Maybe I want to make his hair go up a little more crazy. That would be kind of funny. A little bit of crazy hair. All right. That would help the little. So let's 
see how Trump goes. Trump. Let's see if I like his face first. Not entirely happy with the way this cartoon is quite laying out. He looks more Trumpy when he's squinting. Trumpy. Flipping through the Trump pictures. There's a good one of his hair messing up. Just to show you what I'm looking at over here. I'm thinking of this one with his hair flopping around. That's kind of funny. Um, that. Trump is a pretty forgiving character. I see lots of cartoonists drawing him without any likeness at all, but just a mop of hair that defines him. I suppose that's fine. He's looking a little Trumpy there. the hair well, let's get the shoulder right first he's gonna have a couple of big lumps from the suit This is going to come around. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need pinstripes.
to Trump hair. So I've got the hand block in. I can go to his hair. Notice that when there's not so much chat, you don't get me talking very much. just did some stuff there that if I was a teacher with an art student I'd say don't do that which is to draw against the the way your wrist naturally wants to go well, the hair is kind of funny he's looking a little trumpy I like this stuff where he has the, uh, Okomi writes, Twitch has one job stream properly and can't even do that. <laughs> Is the stream not working all right? It looks okay to me. I'm streaming it on another computer and it uh, looks like it's okay. No Red Ties writes a lot. With just the mop of hair, that's fine. Nice dig since you asked. Um, I like his hair. People make fun of his hair, but uh, um, I don't want him to make any changes. I'm pleased with it. All right, so here he's got, this is where, he, if you notice his, his way that he does his hair is he's got this very thick, hard uh, hair goop over his ears. Got the ear to come and do. just as a matter of drawing principle, you know, the top of your ear aligns with the top of your eyebrows, the bottom of your ear aligns with the bottom of your nose. So uh I need to think about that moving around the side of his head. So I think the ear is probably in the right place. Then he's got this little uh, wisp at the back of his head. The problem with drawing his hair is um, I draw it with hard lines, but his hair is not hard. It's just a little cloud of hair.
let's get this hand. Excuse me. Okay, so back goes up and out like that. Then we have <coughs> those wrinkles go that way. Those wrinkles go that way. Okay. Now he's got that leg coming down that way. Ties right. It's crazy left handed mechanics on that hand, like watching a left handed golfer. <laughs> As you might guess, the left-handed thing is not noteworthy to me. Okay, this leg. That's right. Page is always upside down for you. <laughs> well, it is upside down. I draw upside down most of the, half the time. Well, whatever amount of the time. Just note that uh, when the screen looks like it's upside down, it's upside down for me too. Looks like his shoe. You know, there was a time when uh, shoes were made by cobblers and they had little nails in the heel. 
and it's still a cartoon convention to draw the two nails in the heel of a shoe even though that probably has not existed for 80 years the old Tex Avery cartoons when uh, somebody feels like a heel and he turns into the heel of a shoe just for an instant to be the heel. You've always got that good cartoon heel with the nails in the heel. It's like it's made by a cobbler. Tex Avery cobbler. Okay. All right, I'm going to start with some pinstripes, see if I can make him look a little more interesting than he is, because uh, it's a pretty simple cartoon. Now, when I uh, when I'm done with this, I've got a couple more cartoons to do this afternoon. I need to get this one out quick though because uh, they're going to be planning for their two papers tomorrow. And this one is a cartoon that they need to run tomorrow. So they're throwing together their late edition, anticipating that Trump's going to lose. They have the picture in place. They throw the late results in there, and then they've got a cartoon that goes with the late results before the cartoons that were not drawn in advance come in. This is drawing a cartoon in advance for a primary is perhaps a bit of overkill. You don't get a lot of cartoonists doing that. They do that on general election night. But in this case, with two empty weeks before the primary and two empty weeks after the Wisconsin primary, it kind of gives time for uh, extra focus on this one Wisconsin primary. So I think drawing a, a prospective cartoon like this fits. I think this will get some ink. such a simple cartoon I need to have more textural things going on because it's just too simple okay In case you're wondering, I've got a piece of uh, sandpaper over here to my right. Okay, I'm going to start on this side. Let's get this. All these pinstripes need to feel three-dimensional. As I feel like it's what it's like as I run my pencil over three-dimensional Trump. Running my pencil over three-dimensional Trump, that sounds like simple assault.
sometimes the, they really need pinstripes for particularly when it's a simple cartoon and this one's quite a simple cartoon it's going to need to look like it had uh, some thoughtful line drawing going on in it in order to be worthwhile I would like for it to work just with the line if it's possible to make that happen. I like pinstripes. Actually, the Donald does not ever really wear pinstripes. He wears very dull, plain gray suits, like uh, President Obama. And uh, As, as a cartoon language kind of thing, you kind of reserve the pinstripe suits for Wall Street. So, Trump being a tycoon fits with pinstripe suit. Now see if I was uh, if I was playing music on this, you wouldn't hear my pencil scraping across the paper. Another good reason not to have uh, music in, in Twitch Creative. Not a big fan of the idea of music in the creative stream. No red ties writes the Donald. Mr. Duck would be offended. Hmm. Would that be Scrooge McDuck? No, that's the McDuck, not Duck. I have seen a lot of. Uh, metaphors between uh, Donald and Scrooge McDuck. So there's been a lot of talk about the Donald uh, having a ceiling of support at about 40 percent. He can't just he can't get over 50 percent is the thinking, and um, so that's going to be one of my new cartoons, kind of based on an oldie, which will be uh, Trump on a pogo stick whacking his head on his uh, vote ceiling. 
over and over, state after state. That's fun to draw. Whacking your head on the ceiling on a pogo stick. That's um, cartoonist good times. You know, it looks to me like Trump is, uh, like, um, Twitch is just doing an excellent job today. I'm not seeing any slowdowns or stalls or spinning wheels. I know, uh, I know, Okomi, you were complaining about that. But, uh, I'll bet that problem is your, your home internet provider. So it looks to me like Twitch is doing the job today. So pogo stick, and then I drew another cartoon back uh, early on before the race had whittled down with a Republican elephant. And uh, in case you hear banging, that's my neighbor building a house. Sorry about that. You can trust that it annoys me more than it annoys you. No red ties rights. Everything on Twitch is keeping up, but I have the spinning wheel at the same time. Go figure. Huh. Well, here in California, on my laptop next to me, which is uh, which is using my Wi-Fi at my house as opposed to my Twitch stream here which is plugged directly into the wall and should be unlimited by Wi-Fi. So I think my uh, my line out is good and uh, what I'm seeing on the Wi-Fi is looking good too. Not always the case. Sometimes I get the spinning wheel here and I wonder what the hell's going on, but not today. Today looks good. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh! <coughs> Got the sneezes. Are the socks also striped? Asked Sakomi. Um, you don't have to be. Don't really want to draw attention to the socks, so I just give them a little more scratching and make them a little bit darker. Sucks better when they're blacker. Okomi found uh, 
striped socks with a striped suit to be confusing. Excuse me, hay fever today, boy, sneezes and cough. This one's going pretty fast. I've been working on it for an hour. That'll be done pretty soon. And uh, it's not a hard one to color either. No red ties right. It's confusing like Grover in green with big ears. Grover? As you know, I have drawn my share of Sesame Street. Okay, Wisconsin. I'm going to draw Wisconsin. Printed out a little a map from the web and paste it down here. He's he's obscuring a distinctive little bit of Wisconsin under his knee, which I think would make it not read necessarily as well as it should. So I'm going to need to put a big. Uh, A big label on it. Let me bring this up just a second. Wisconsin. Losing a little bit of what I'm looking for up here. Oh, this breaks up into a bunch of little islands. Okay. Wisconsin. Sorry, folks, too much hay fever.
So no red ties writes uh, backward speaks does Grover win green and big ears he has. Oh. Kind of like when uh, Grover is really Yoda. a little Wisconsin state texture into this mix as well. So if any of you folks ha who are watching have not followed, I would very much appreciate a follow. So please do follow. His falling line will go I have a question folks when you look at those maps that have uh, all the states in America and the states are all different colors I think of some states as always being kind of the same color so you know you think of uh, Nevada as pale yellow and uh, what color is Wisconsin is it kind of a light green Wisconsin should be.
right. This is a pretty simple one, huh? Tripping over Wisconsin? I think I am... Uh... Okomi writes, is your next drawing Trump winning Wisconsin? I think Trump is set to lose Wisconsin, so I don't really want to spend the time coming up with a Trump wins Wisconsin. I've got a couple other ones like that... Uh pogo stick one and uh, another one with uh, uh, about uh, Muslim immigrants that I want to knock out after this one. Hopefully I'll get those done pretty quick. It's three o'clock already. Yipes. Worst comes to worst, I get those done tomorrow. This is the one with the deadline. All right, folks. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm gonna take a 15-minute break to scan this before I color it. So, you hang out with me. I'll be back in 15 minutes, and I should be here. Uh, further this afternoon doing more cartoons as time allows. So uh, see you in 15 minutes. Google Images shows Wisconsin in all the colors. Blue or green seem to be the most frequent. I think of it as light green. Okay, thank you, No Red Ties. I will, uh, I will be scanning and uh, back in a few.
Okay, I'm back, folks, and I've got this thing scanned in. And so I've just got to do my normal uh, cleanup. <coughs> Excuse me. Something simple, I wanted to have the lines be a little heavier. Sometimes I go light on the contrast. Today a little darker. Gotta give it a bunch of shots of contrast because Photoshop, at least my version of Photoshop, old CS4 resists 100% contrast it's turning out to be a square isn't it no red ties rights I know you like green in the cartoon for that which does not distract Wisconsin is light green well I do think of Wisconsin as light green, but um, that is not to say that that's the color I would choose if I wasn't thinking of Wisconsin being light green. Today my local newspaper ran one of my cartoons and they cropped it to make it square. Usually a square cartoon means it doesn't get printed as much as a uh, wider one. This will be uh, Trump 1000 DPI. Trump uh, Wisconsin Fall. Okay. And uh, image size. Go with a thousand eight inches wide, seven and a half. Okay, now let's make a bitmap. Okay, save. <laughs> no malice intended in the light green comments. There's no red lines. No red ties. Okay. No malice. I'm a journalist, you know. Absence of malice. As long as I got no malice, nobody's going to sue me. And I got no malice. I love everybody. Keep that in mind, everyone who wants to sue me, that I have no malice whatsoever. All right, let's look close at this. Yep, there's a little crud to clean up when you look close. This is just uh, housekeeping stuff everybody has to do when they do a scan if they don't want to look crummy. Oh, Comey writes, cartoonists get sued? 
Well, actually, in the United States, pretty good about uh, not getting sued, but it is a problem around the world, cartoonists getting sued. But uh, in the United States, we have pretty good laws protecting us from getting sued. Although, as a businessman, the guy who runs the syndicate here, I get sued for other things. Regular old business stuff. Oh, my glass disappears. Look, invisible glass of water. so often I bump the microphone which I know to you is a big boom to me sounds like nothing he's got some crud going on in his hair I suppose that goes without saying. I'm cleaning up all the little bits of crud that happen whenever you scan original art. You might think that I get more crud since I draw in pencil, but I actually don't. I find the scans are just about as dirty when I draw cleanly in ink as when I draw with pencil likes to pick up the underdrawing with the ink. Okomi writes, I've been wondering when you add the layers for coloring, do you know how many layers you're adding or is it just, yeah, this many look enough? Um, in general, I add as many as I have room for so it fits in the window. So, it doesn't really matter. The window is convenient. Okay, there he is. All right. Next step. Oh, that's a dark spot there. It needs a fix. Because his hair doesn't really have any dark spots. So let's fix the dark spot. There, I think that, that works. All right. This line is a distraction, isn't it? Could have been there, but it's a distraction. All right. 
There he is. He's ready to go. Save. Now, let's save it as... Four hundred DPI CMYK, and I will do the color. First, we want to select all of the white. Oops, make it grayscale. Select color range white. work. Unlock. Let's add our layers. There. As many as there are in the box, Okomi. Uh, as will fit in the box. All right. Now let's have select color range 200. That should work this time. Come on, select. Where all? Oh, that's because I'm on the wrong layer. That layer at the top. Now select color range. And we will delete the white. Put white in the bottom layer. Fill with 100%. There we go. Now back at this top layer needs to multiply. Always make your black layer multiply. And I need to check to see that I've got 100% black. And I'm guessing I do not. I do not. So. Zero, 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 100. Select all. Select color range. OK. I'm going to delete and fill. I'm not sure that that's 100%. Let's see if it gets a little darker. And it does. And fill. Now let's see what we've got. We've got a bunch of crap. Sometimes Photoshop wants to put up a fight. And that looks like what I'm getting now. Let's see, make sure that we're CMYK. That'll help. Don't merge. Sometimes it likes to take a lot of time doing something that you think should not take a lot of time. All right, now let's uh, delete and fill. Comey writes, are you working with the last Photoshop or an older version? This is an old one, CS4. Oh, it's got 98. It is very resistant to making things 100% black. Fill. 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 Now let's see what we've got. 100% black. Good. All right. That took a while, didn't it? Sometimes you have to just do it over and over and over until Photoshop finally accepts that you want to do such a ridiculous thing. Image size. 400. Okay. Okay. 
this Photoshop does what I need it to do. It just uh, has its uh, little oddities, and I don't really know if those oddities have been fixed in later versions of Photoshop or not. Okay, I think I want Wisconsin. move over this way a little bit maybe a little bit like that okay all right I'm gonna grab this Wisconsin put it as a texture in my state over here. Whenever you do this, it never wants to quite fit perfectly. the idea of a state having its own texture. I want to come out just a little bit. I do those. All right. And a little bit of trim to uh, a little bit of Wisconsin that fits outside the lines. And I think we're good. That looks like Wisconsin, huh? All right, this is going to be, well, let's see. Do I want to give him a gray suit, a little bit of texture, or do I want to leave it like this black line and just Wisconsin and gray? It's kind of funny if it's just Wisconsin and gray. I think I'm going to do that. because the harshness of it being the black line with just this gray part is kind of a, well, for, for me, it's, that's kind of a visual gag in itself. Sirope writes, you should start doing his hand small. Suppose he hates that. Uh, yeah, I'm not a particularly anti-Trump guy. Like so many of the cartoonists drawing him as Hitler and monsters all the time. Okomi writes, have you ever put a red suit on him? <laughs> no, it has not occurred to me to do that. All right, let's go do a little bit of fix on his hair. I think he needs a little bit of uh, hair refinement. So, uh, Sirope, have you, uh, have you followed? I need some follows. It's <sighs> a little bit more hair character there. Maybe I should get rid of this line. Some of his hair terminus here, not quite looking as nice as I would like. If all of this cross the bottom line is going to go. A 
red suit. So roll price. Yep, follower already. Seem the trick is to be hosted by successful streamers. Oh yeah. I don't have a don't have a solution for that trick. Let's do a little bit of a replacement line here. There, I think that's a little better. It was uh, was too harsh before. go that's making some sense This kind of turns into a cartoon about his hair, doesn't it? I wasn't planning that when I started. Okay. I think I've got a bit of uh, Wisconsin texture coming through a suit over here. Make sure I get rid of that. Okay, there he is. This is going to be the black and white version. So let us save as. Wait a second. Let me make sure I save this first. Save as now. Let's uh, yeah, save as gray. No layers as a copy. There. All right. Now, next for the Donald is color. So I need a background color. If I'm going to make Wisconsin green and his hair orange, maybe the background color just needs to be what? I would naturally want to make it yellow because it's a big square cartoon and yellow has nice intensity without losing um, without losing it to tone. So let's say <laughs> blue, I guess. All right, blue it is. Forty ten zero. And let's uh, bump this puppy up. Bring that puppy down. Mm, that's wrong. I need to make the blue come at about this level so that his head pokes halfway through the blue and his hands are out of it. It's a sp 
spot of background given this layout. Just a spot. Okay, now red tithes writes elephant and mosquito purple. Blue is too predictable. I guess that was predictable. Purple doesn't print well. I can use it in the elephant since it grays down and you kind of also expect an elephant to be gray. So it works for an elephant, but uh, as a background color, it's tough. Also, this, uh, this blue is going to darken when it's printed. No red ties, right? It's got it. I like the purple that shows on the screen. Yeah, you know, there's a little bit of uh, guessing here what things are going to look like when they're printed. Blues always come out much darker. And uh, purple grays down. Okay, I can... I can put the Wisconsin green in. Do I want it to be that? I think maybe 30, 50 is better. I could make it orange. If it's orange, it's kind of funny with his hair over here and the orange. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it orange. Let's do it. Let's make it orange. If I don't like it, I can always change it. For now, it's gonna be orange. Comey writes, have you ever done comics, Daryl? Um, back in my day as a, uh, an advertising illustrator, I did a, a number as ads, and then I did some as stuff for the Muppets. But um, I haven't done uh, I haven't done a traditional comic. I got a job at one time to do a Muppets comic for Marvel. And, oops, I don't want that. Why is that happening? Layer six, oh, that's why that's happening. That needs to go up here and also multiply. Makes perfect sense. So this one will be Wisconsin. So um, I went into Marvel and just assuming I was going to do this job. So I need to be a little more yellow. Ah, that's actually pretty good orange. Um, and they gave me all the specs for it and they paid $50 a page and page was a lot of work and 
and I had to draw it to their specifications and to the size. Everybody worked in the same size and the same style. They had to use marble paper. Marble had their own bristle board that you had to use. So you had to draw in that size exactly as they wanted you to. And uh, it paid so badly and it was so restrictive and it was smaller than I like to draw. And I like to draw in pencil instead of inking, which they did not accommodate. So I ended up backing out of that one. Too much work, too little money, too uncomfortable to have to draw exactly the way they wanted me to. That was my entire experience with Marvel Comics. $50 a page. That was some time ago, although I think comic book artists are still well underpaid. Wisconsin. I was doing product and ad work that uh, was a lot better than $50 a page comic book. So I dodged that bullet. I'm going with a CMY kind of gray here. Yeah, no, no K in it. Which is good. It should be 100%. Yep. And note that since I have multiply selected for the top layer, that. Uh, That means the colors print underneath the black lines, and that solves a lot of the, the printing problems that people have with comics. I've got to come back and do the hair on top. So when you do a CMY gray like this, the way printing works is you can never quite be sure what kind of uh, gray you're going to get. Alpha Kenny Bodie writes, Trump will win. Actually, I am hoping Trump will win. Trump is a gift to cartoonists. And also, I think he will lose so resoundingly in the general election that uh, liberals should stop complaining about him. Just look at him as a gift. Alpha Kenny Bodhi writes, because he speaks truths. I don't think I've seen any editorial cartoonists anywhere around the world and I'm you know I watch all the cartoons from around the world we represent the best of the worldwide cartoonists don't think I've seen anyone around the world who is pro Trump cartoonist there are no pro Trump cartoonists I feel I haven't been anti Trump I've been kind of neutral I can't even identify any other neutral to Trump cartoonists. They simply do not exist anywhere. I challenge you to find me one who's a real cartoonist, not an amateur guy just posting a sketch on Facebook. Oh, here's an error. I'm going to have to go back and correct that little error in the black and white version. Let's do that now. Now that I discovered it, here it is, gray. There's that little error that I somehow missed. Let's 
save and close that one back here. Oops. Oh, here's a little bit of uh, Wisconsin that I missed. There it is. Somebody who lives in that little bit of Wisconsin can write me a letter if I did if I missed their little bit of Wisconsin. Okay, let's do Trump. He will be 3, 23, 23. How's that for flesh? So just putting in flat tone. What I do with flesh is I'll put in a flat middle flesh tone, which is what this is. This is the middle tone. Then I'll come back and do a little bit of lighter and a little bit of darker. So let's do a little bit of lighter. That'll come up here. And we want soft edges on that. A little bit smaller brush to work with. Not that small. All right, Mr. Trump, your nose shall be brighter. Whoop, that was 100%, wasn't it? That was too bright. 30 looks good. bit of lightning. Now let's try a little bit of darkening. A little bit smaller for the darkening.
just putting in a little bit of uh, interesting variation to go on because which is also going to uh, dark up a lot when it's printed that. Let's give him some white undercoat for his hair. That can use 100% capacity. Oops. Hundred percent opacity, not capacity. Depending on the lighting, sometimes Trump's hair is not orange at all, it's just very white. for his hair to have orange going on. Now since this cartoon seems to be so much about his hair, I'm going to need to uh, put a little extra thought into it. So let's do that first with some yellow texture. don't like for his hair to be a flat orange as most cartoonists do it because uh, his hair is really much more interesting than that. It's got all kinds of interesting floofy goops going on. Now I'm going to go for orange and we're going to lighten that up a little bit. Put it on another layer in case I screw up. his hair. Oops. I think he's going to need a little bit more light flash going on. The 
slightest little bit of pink if you can eat. And a little bit of zero forty. Put that on another layer in case I don't like it. Capacity. Alright, let's try that. Give them just a little bit of pink in the cheeks. Sometimes it doesn't need much color. Oh, now I need to put a little bit of dark into his suit. I think I'm not going to do the soles of his shoes in a different color. Because I don't want people looking at the soles of his shoes. So let's go to this and we'll move down to there. Do I want to have that K in there? I'm not sure I do. Let's look at this again. Let's add 20. 20. 20. There. That'll be better. So here on this new layer I can do some darker suit. Just to give him a little bit of uh, depth. All right, I think that's it. He's done. Trump is finished. I could put a little texture in the suit. I think I might. Should I? Let's think about that. So if I put a little bit of sponge texture in the suit. Capacity 38. Do I want to do that? Sponge texture in the suit. Well, Comey thinks it looks good. Going to stream the refugee one, you ask? Yeah. Uh, I'll need a little bit of prep time, and I need to uh, send this one out to the newspapers. But I think this one is done. I could do just a little bit of... bit of shadow there under his cuffs. Okay, there he is. Um, do I want a little bit of texture in Wisconsin? 
Maybe I do. Just the teeniest bit of texture in Wisconsin. And a little bit of orange texture. Save that, I'm going to flatten it. Save as. Final flat. Then I'm going to save as a JPEG because this is going to be bigger than my file size limit. So, 1107, Trump, Wisconsin, fall. CMYK, JPEG, save, 9, OK, no red ties rights, tripping into the political landscape, I guess he is, OK, now I want to get the grayscale version, save as a TIFF and see how big this comes out. Eleven oh seven B that last one three point two meg, that's good. I have three point five meg file size limit. Eleven oh seven B Trump fall. Okay. Alrighty, those are saved. I am going to um, tell you what, all you nice folks, keep your eye out for me uh, in a little bit after I uh, send this one out. I will uh, start in the next one, but I'm going to stop the stream for a little bit because I have to. Uh, I have to send this to the newspapers and do a little bit of prep. So, hey, um, thank you for joining me today. Keep your eye out this afternoon for when I come back and do the next cartoon. And, uh, hey, I'll be back. Thank you, folks.